If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRACE to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. We are a week away from Operation 4 for Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and there's still a ton of stuff that was supposed to come out for Operation 3 that never came here that might actually be getting pushed towards the beginning of Operation 4. So what exactly should we expect for Operation 4? And what about this final week before the next big operation? Hey guys, what's up? It's X-Rays. Welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about Operation 4, what is in the game code, what has been leaked, and well, what exactly we should be expecting in the next big update, which it might be this Tuesday, but if I had to guess, it's probably going to be pushed to Operation 4. So let's jump into the information. If you guys enjoy the video, drop a like on the video very very much appreciated and if you are new to the channel if you want to see even more videos like these i'm gonna have a ton more call of duty black ops 4 news info rumors leaks and more coming so make sure you guys are subscribed have those notifications on join the team today now let's start off with what exactly is in the game code that i believe personally is getting pushed to operation 4 and it's actually a few things that were teased towards the beginning of Operation Grand Heist. Now, these are a couple of things. One, a new weapon, which is the Rugger Mini 14. And there actually was even an image that was leaked for this weapon specifically. But it is a semi-automatic sniper rifle similar to the EBR, if I had to kind of pin it with something. But the Rugger mini 14 or ruger i can't remember which one it was uh, people were always correcting me anytime i mention it but it's a semi-automatic sniper rifle it's been in the game code since the beginning of operation grand heist which is actually kind of interesting that we have this in the game code and it never came i don't know if they're planning on having some sort of mini event like the barbarian event that they had during operation absolute zero but that actually came like midway through that operation and we are a week away from this operation ending so i have to assume at this point that the rugger mini 14 is going to be pushed into the next operation which is kind of weird that it's been in the game code and i think it was even teased in some of the promotional stuff and it never came and it's much too late now we're a week away could they still give it to us they could but why would they give us a new weapon a week before the next operation i just don't see it happening so if i had to guess this new sniper rifle we're probably not going to see until Operation 4. The next thing that was teased since the beginning of Operation Grand Heist, and it's still possible that we might see it, but if it doesn't come tomorrow, it's definitely coming during Operation 4, which is Misty. She has been a special character to use in Blackout, and she's been teased in a lot of the promotional stuff, even when I went back to Treyarch Studios to try out Operation Grand Heist, you were able to play as Misty. She was one of the unlocked characters and she has not arrived just yet so if i had to guess if we don't see her on tuesday which we might still see her on tuesday then we're probably going to see her in operation four so keep an eye out for that if tuesday comes and goes then we definitely are going to be seeing misty push further who knows what the reason was i think a lot of us were expecting misty to come out this saturday but instead they actually opted with putting back the cypher special order that you could purchase once again which is actually a pretty decent looking reactive camo, but a lot of people have been waiting since the beginning of Operation Grand Heist to get their hands on Misty. All right, so the next thing is going to be a couple of changes really to the balancing and stuff like that. Now, I believe that this is going to be coming next week and not this week. I don't think we're getting any kind of major update this week because we are leading to the next operation it's the final week so if i had to guess i would assume that this also is being patched into update 1.17 which should be coming the following tuesday so with that there's a couple of things one it has been hinted that we're going to be getting an smg buff with this next big update so you're going to be seeing a lot of those smgs getting a bit of a buff and coming more in line with some of the other weapons a lot of people were actually complaining about how this is probably the worst Call of Duty for SMGs, and the thread on Reddit got a lot of traffic, and it looks like Treyarch has taken notice, and one of the developers for the studio has said that they should keep an eye out for an update coming soon that should make them very happy. So, if I had to guess, in update 1.17, which I believe is coming next week and not this Tuesday, we're probably going to see a big rehaul or retooling of the smgs which i am pretty excited to check out the next thing was something that i thought was going to be coming last week 
could still be coming this Tuesday, but if I had to guess, it's probably just going to be a part of the next big update for 1.17, and that's going to be the UI change to the dev stashes in Blackout. So David Von der Haar has been talking about this for a while now, but one of the most annoying things about the dev stashes currently in Blackout is the fact that anytime you go into it, you have to move away or you have to jump up or you have to pull out your weapon in order for you to be able to get out of that menu it's very annoying and so they're playing around right now with an ability to just hold down circle or press circle to back out of that menu and so we'll definitely see if that ends up coming with this next update which i believe will be next tuesday so the ui change is going to be pretty interesting let me know how you guys feel about it down in the comment section below all right so the next thing that we should be getting is a gauntlet for zombies as well and i believe this is going to be pushed back all the way to operation four maybe even a week or two after operation four launches but it's going to be a dead of the night gauntlet they've been teasing this one for a while now the last one we got was helcatraz and if i had to guess we're probably going to get the dead of the night one coming here with operation four so keep an eye out for that guy let me know if you guys play gauntlet at all or is it something you don't really care about drop it in the comment section below it'll be interesting because this will be the very first dlc gauntlet they're going to be doing and yes you could say that mob of the dead or helcatraz was one for dlc and then we also do have defcon 5 which is another one of those but i think that this is going to be the first true one because this is dlc one and we'll see what what ends up happening with that but we have a new gauntlet coming for zombies based on dead of the night and we'll see how that plays out so i'm actually kind of interested to see how that goes since i have been kind of enjoying most of the gauntlets that they've brought out here I think they just need to spice it up a little bit more. Sometimes it feels like it's too similar to other gauntlets. So who knows? Maybe this next one is going to be a lot more unique. All right. So starting this week, we should be getting some teases for the next operation. So I believe tomorrow we're going to get a little bit of an update, a very small one that might be adding some new features into Blackout, some new teases, maybe even in multiplayer, we'll start seeing some teases around different maps. So keep an eye out for that. I think we're definitely going to end up seeing a lot of small teases, especially in Blackout. I don't know. I actually feel kind of weird thinking that maybe they'll add a new point of interest, seeing as how they recently did add the new Alcatraz map. So maybe we'll get a new mode or maybe it'll actually be a new point of interest. Let me know which one you guys think we're going to get. But if I had to guess, I'd say probably a new point of interest because it's been about two months since we did get the new buried location and the new standoff location added to blackout. But they did also add Alcatraz Island, which again was kind of a shocker and kind of out of left field. So we'll definitely see what ends up happening with that. But if I had to guess, probably going to start getting some teases here for some new locations in blackout very, very soon. All right. So the last thing I wanted to mention was what we should be expecting this week in call of duty black ops 4 now that this is the final week leading up to the operation like i said we're probably going to see some of those teases coming here starting this week maybe in zombies maybe in multiplayer maybe in blackout keep an eye out for that but the one thing we might have to keep an eye out for is going to be the new mode that has yet to make its appearance which is going to be prop hunt so they have been teasing this one as well for a while now so if i had to guess Tomorrow, we're probably going to get Prop Hunt, and we might be getting Misty as well in the shop. Long shot, we'll get the Rugger or the Ruger Mini 14, but the final chance is going to be tomorrow. So if we don't get Misty, if we don't get the new sniper rifle, then it's probably being pushed to the next operation. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully, you guys found this video informative and helpful. If you did find the video entertaining, then do me a huge favor and drop a like on the video. It's super, super appreciated. And if you are new around here and if you want to see more content like this, I'm going to have a lot more Black Ops 4 news, info, rumors, leaks, and more coming. So make sure you guys are subscribed and have notifications on so you don't miss a single upload here on the channel. If you guys want to support the channel directly, you guys can do so by checking out my channel memberships. You get access to early content, exclusive videos, special badges, and a whole bunch more. So go ahead and check that out only if you're willing and able to. And if you want to talk about anything, Twitter is the best place to do so. I'm constantly talking over there. So go ahead and give me a follow. My handle is at OGXrays. I also do have a link in the description below. So if you want to talk about anything or see what I'm up to or interact with me, then go ahead and give me a follow over there. I'll have a link down in the description below. You guys have an amazing day. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last update before Operation 4 and next Tuesday when we get the big update and hopefully we get some information prior to that. You guys have an absolutely amazing day. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.